In this video, we'll be talking about leukocyte extraversation. This is a high yield video for USMLE step one. Stay tuned till the end. So leukocytes are white blood cells that infiltrate a tissue post injury or infection. So during inflammation, imagine a rusty nail has bring in so, so a lot of bacteria in the wound site. Now, leukocytes like neutrophil would immediately try to go to that location and then engulf the bacteria. So this is known as phagocytosis. Then neutrophil would secrete alarming molecule, which are basically cytokines, which can change the property of the blood vessel and allow more neutrophils to come in. And this process is known as neutrophil extraversation or leukocyte extraversation. Though this process looks fairly simple, but this particular process has several molecular aspects to it, which we have to learn. And we have to also learn how does that go wrong in terms of disease. Now, this process is really important for inflammation and wound healing. So neutrophils generally roll very rapidly throughout the blood vessel when there is no inflammation. But imagine that there is an inflammation due to infection of bacteria. Then there are certain cytokines which can alter the blood vessel. Now blood vessel express more and more these adhesion molecules which can slow down the neutrophil rolling. So the first step of leukocyte extraversation is uh, the halting or slowing down of the rolling process. And this is mediated by several adhesion interaction. One of them is glycam one, which is present in the blood vessel capillary endothelial cells. There are E selectin, P selectin, all of these are adhesion molecules present on the blood vessels or the endothelial cells. Then L selectin, Sial Lewis X or SLX, all of these proteins are actually present on the surface of the neutrophil. But anyway, these adhesion interaction work like a velcro and prevent the neutrophil to roll rapidly and allow that to stop. Once the neutrophil stops, then there are several interaction that happens like with VCAM present on the blood vessel wall, VLA4 integrin, which is present on the neutrophil surface, ICAM1 and LFA1. And all this lead to a cytoskeletal rearrangement. This triggers the neutrophil to squeeze itself through the narrow capillary uh, wall and basically go outside of the blood vessel to the tissue space. Now, the previous step was actually known as adhesion, where the adhesion establishment happens and it becomes stronger. The, the adhesion interaction becomes stronger. And after the stronger adhesion, the neutrophil is uh, getting that kick or the trigger to change the cytoskeleton. And once the cytoskeleton is changed, it squeezes its way throughout of the blood vessel, move to the tissue space. And now extraversation is complete. And now the neutrophil would be guided to the injury or wound side with the help of several chemotactic factors, such as complement factors, maybe interleukins, leukotrienes, etc. Now the neutrophil would go and ultimately chase the bacteria and ultimately they would engulf it. After engulfing the bacteria, neutrophil use a process called respiratory burst on which we have different video, but thereby they kill the pathogen and eliminate uh, these pathogens and uh, help in wound uh, healing. Now what happens is basically there are disease where the molecules which are re required for the neutrophil to roll slowly or establish adhesion is faulty. So there are mutation in SLX1 gene or CD18 integrin gene, which lead to leukocyte adhesion deficiency disorder. In this case, the surface adhesion molecules of the neutrophil are not produced. As a result, what happens is, even if there is infection, neutrophil cannot really roll slowly, adhere to the endothelial cells and cannot go to the site of injury. So that means these patients would be more and more susceptible towards bacterial infection or the wound healing process in these individuals would be ultra slow. On a different video, we would cover this aspect. But anyway, I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.